Kasuga, former new controller, former second place at UFA. The two power-ups must go absolutely crazy right now as we launch into the set for the second time here, thanks to that delivery. And let's find out how this one goes. Kepler versus Kepler mirror match to open the game. And now we get into it at last. The first of five and the return of Kasuga. I'm excited, Jonesy. Let's just hope that this controller doesn't go to Orgene straight away. If he loses 5-0, it might just have to. And Amazon will be on the blacklist for Kasuga in the future. Let's hope so. Okay, finds the hit. We are down. Oh, no. Kasuga, please. New controller. It ain't it right now. He's stuck in the corner, but the blocks. Oh, crisp. Oh, that reflects as well after the clash. All thanks to Amazon. Let's go. Let's go. Kasuga calling the 17. They're trying to be ambiguous because he was right on top. But Pothgix finds the hit once again. The bomb loops towards the corner. That excellent corner carry combo into the legs. Then the cell bringing out the perfect being with four bars. Of course, he has the meter to do the mix with the rolling crush if he needs be. Kasuga on the ropes defensively right now. What's it going to be? Back dash into the perfect attack. He did this exact same read against Pumping Priest, but he doesn't have the confirm. Oh, Jones, that's so unfortunate because he literally had it. The assist was just mistimed. Yeah, he tried. Last time he just popped Spark, right? So surely you just pop Spark again. You go Spark, spark for Spark and then just take the character for free. But instead, had to be a little bit more optimal. A little bit more frugal with the resources. Still, they're going to find the hit on the 18. So all in all, not the worst thing in the world. But just at least give Casca more meat to work with. And wow, the stiletto is from all the way over there. Lab code 21. Finding that hit, straight into level 3. Let's see what Puff Hicks goes on their way up. DP Spark maybe, Team gone has got that option. Oh, that was really, really ambitious from Kasuga right there. That Key Blast into the attempted spin confirm on the, the, any baits. Almost successful, but both of them just not able to get it. Apparently, bait confirms are just the most Ojeen of tasks for players today as we launch into the level 3 once again. Puffcake's putting the pressure on what mixes are going to be this time. Just goes for the 2M, breaking the ankles, and that is going to be a dead lap course. Just like that, it's down to the Kepler, and with no spark. There's five bars to work with, and we're very close to seven Dragon Balls, but surely with this kind of lead, Puffcake's be in a great spot to close this out. Ooh, that DR gets denied, slam shoot at the door. A level 3 incoming. Okay, so let's have Spark though to get this blue life back. And there we go, Spark's out. Blue life all back and the cross up does connect. Pretty sure that confirm with a kill, by the way, if Puffix didn't drop that combat. It's really unfortunate. The cross-up whiffs this time, so he can't get the confirm that he was looking for, and the assist is burned as well. Kasuga desperately calling for any hit here. Evades the 2H, going for the 5M string here into the staggers. Oh, 6M traded! What was that? Honey. Honey. Brownie VAR. That's crazy. That's a bullshit, isn't it? My god. Someone's got to clip that. Someone actually has to clip that right now. I need to what? see what happened with that trade. How? Why? How? Ain't no way. This is plot armor of the highest order. There's no way. There's no shot. Ooh, the float movement. Blocking the 6H. The frames. I don't block the second one. There's surely no way. There's no way. Can't kill here, even with level 1, level 3. So, gonna have to go for the sound of level 3 here. Putting the pressure high on Puffcakes right now because there's no defensive options here. You're gonna have to block this one out as Casca Inc. comes for one more chance. Blocks the overhead and the Dragon oh Rush connects. God. Jonesy, it's a 1v1 from the most oh. impossible of circumstances. Oh my god. And both characters are so low. All it takes is one hit to pretty much confirm. Oh no. Oh. I got worried. I saw the super dash coming in. I thought Puffcake's not again, not again, but believed in that 2M, found that connection. And Puffcake's almost getting hit with the reverse comeback there, but managed to at least secure it out eventually. But it's a little bit too close for comfort there if Puffcake's. 
hundred percent. And you know what? Just take what you can get as we launch into the second game right there. It is a one or the score of puff cakes as we launch right back in. Janana goes right. That is huge mental damage for yourself that you have avoided as we go into game two here. Command dash through the 214S there, and Casca does find the hit required. Nice start. Definitely a hard read, but we'll take those. Oh, challenging when the barrier is available, Kasuga. That's the most important meal of the day for him. Barrier soaking up those Abari options. And now, immediately the Kefla gone on Puppet sides. Huge start for Kasuga. That control is now warmed up. It's raring to go. The confirmed. With that air to him. Just clean with the jump cancels. Do we see level three? No, we're going hell zone. What hell zone? All the way straight to heaven with that DP. Oh, what auto combo match for the anti air properties? Hello? Bro. We just pressed an L out here. Call it love cakes. Ooh, that slide on it was sick though, sir. Absolutely godlike into the confirm as well. Two bars already built. Gonna extend this as much as humanly possible and then use the special Z change into the cell change. Half a bar is there if required. Puff Geek's really gonna have to go with a full gambit to try and get this kill here, but not meant to be. Casca sparks it out instead. Command dashes through the incoming 2M there, dodging the ankle break. And the giant cannonball actually confirms right in Puff Geek's face. Casica has seven bars and he has the corner as well. Wow. Opting not to spend any bar at all. Puff Geek's going for wake up the Oh, the drop! Oh, that could have been the character gone with all the meat of the Kasuga's just holding on to. He's being so frugal with it. He's got to find the moments to spend it. His legs. The guard can't throw anything. Trusting the defense, but it does eventually get opened up and the Kefla's now gone. And Kasuga is still just sitting on the seven bars. Barrier, double barrier, of course. The Kasuga special. Finally now, spending those bars to extend this combo. Get rid of this team gone as soon as possible. It's gonna come down to the perfect cell of perfect puff cakes. Get you, O lead. Or is Kasuga gonna tie things up one apiece here? Let's find out as we launch back into it this time. Kasuga clearly learning from his mistakes. No longer Lord Sugar, not being frugal with that money and spending it all. But he has got still five bars looking to use them, and that's the perfect chance to do so. A raw level three in the face of Puff Kicks. This is going to be close, you know. Not enough to say one more mix will do it. Oh my word, the self confirming mix. The cross up into the assist just to ensure there's going to be more than enough damage on the play, and Kasuga evens it out to 1 1. That was definitely a much better performance from them that time. Yeah, no issues with the controller there for the 18 mix as well. Kasuga looking crisp with it. Let's see if it carries on or can Puff Cakes once more try and take a lead in this set. Let's find out as we go into game number three here. Are two players ready to go back into it once again. Just a shout out to Zan in the chat as well, by the way, because he is absolutely right. That's 6M versus Perfect Attack Clash is actually a clash because of the priority system, which is something that kind of gets underspoken about in Dragon Ball, but is really important to consider for clashes. So we may have called it plot armor, but there was actually an explanation for that. Science behind the mystery, let's go. Is Scooby doing any and all queries? Mystery Inc, sponsored by Sir. Level three mix for Puff Cakes. Oh, same side wash for Dome, but Nothing to confirm with, unfortunately, and that allows Casket to spark up, get out that situa situation, sparking routes on point for Casket as well. Oh my god, the barrier circle the perfect attack, but Puffcake says defensive assist right back at you. The Gohan DP connects. And there should be enough to get rid of Casket's Kefla. Puffcake's taking the lead in this game three. Convincingly as well as they pile the pressure on even further with that 6-H. Nice defense from Kasuga, but gets caught by the JM. 
and then he's gonna get pushed right to the corner here. Three bars already built, both assists in the background, brings the cell in, the exact same maneuver we've seen several times now, call it deja vu, the level three with the bar in the background. How will Kasuka cope with this mix up? Jumps out immediately and actually gets away with it, incredible, and then gets the overhead confirmed with five bars already built. This is suddenly dangerous for Puff Kicks. Mm, level 3 makes with the 18 as well, I like that. Go for the 4-way rather than the high load Lab Coat has. We maybe see a spark bait as well. Puff Cakes will probably want to try and keep the cell alive. Go for the raw tag and 17. It says thank you very much. Barrier soaks that all up. Oh my god, and then he gets cast to get the happy birthday as well. Oh no, missed time the assist! He was trying to extend as much as possible to bring Kefla's life down before the supers, but it just wasn't meant to be. Now all Puffix has to do is evade with this sparking. Hold on for dear life and take him towards the corner. The 2L connects. Jonesy, what a blunder for Casca. That's so unfortunate. On that JM. Okay. Clean with it. Level 3, and yeah, like you said, that blunder means Kefla gets all this blue life back. In the meantime, Kasuka's gonna have to do something. Might not be able to at this point now. Just have to try and get rid of the team go on. Oh, good block. But then gets opened up right after. Oh dear, Kasuka. Puffcakes is finding his way through no matter what and brings the Kefla in to reset the team order a little bit. And it is a 3v1 against the main antagonist of Dragon Ball from a long time ago. Oh my days, and Team Gohan just punches her right up like that. Five bars available, extending as much as possible. Six bars available to spend, Puffcake spending it all. Going for the level five. And it is enough, Puffcake once more takes the lead in this set. Oh, mid set pulls, okay. We want the gacha grind. I love it. Yeah, Puffcakes nets himself another W, and now we're kicking a ball into the back of the net here for the sub poll. Who's it gonna be? Alex the Ace 12, the captain of Drip. Shout out, Steven. Thank you all so much, of course, for supporting Damascus' channel with the subs. You've been crazy with it today, of course. Shout out to Yoroi with that five gifted before. And now we launch back into a game number four, and Puffcakes has the ball firmly in their course. Wade in shambles whenever they're near Alex. No one can handle that level of drip. No, but Jonesy, don't understand. You can't have drip and then lose. Damn. Ouchies. Oof. Sir. Jeez. <laughs> Listen, when Pug made that video into a gif, I just had to immortalize it in my brain forever. That's too funny, man. Ooh, the sneakiest of overheads. And that should be it for the Catholic. Once again, Puffcakes taking a huge lead in this set. In this game. Down to Labco 18 on Kaska's side. Spark available on both ends. The barrier's Ooh. gone, and that's the in now. The Puffcakes will start working with the cell. Finds the 2L low to kick things off as well. Yeah, thing mix. That's the question. That's the question. And it is answered. We are going to get that level 3 mix. What's it going to be this time? Oh, get absolutely destroyed by that. Oh no, that's twice now. Puffix has done EX perfect attack and not confirmed it in the corner. First on the spark bait, now on his own Oki. Speaking of blunders, this is a massive chance for Kasuga to start working a foothold back into this match. Yeah, I'm going to be able to get the mix on this cell. You get penalty though, so I'm not quite sure if he's going to be able to build enough bar anyway. If he found the hit, same side got blocked. Puffcake's great defense so far against this 18 level 3. Finds the DR as well. In Spark, he's going to build a ton of meter. Just the rolling crush alone built an entire bar. That is crazy. And now into the level 3 mix we go once more. Oh my god, the stomp! The most disrespectful of Okies. 
Oh no, but then another drop from Puff Cakes and Kasuga is afforded a chance once more. The blue life regenerates on the Android 18 as we go down towards the corner. The level 3 comes out as well for the EX mix. Two bars already built and an assist in the background. This should be a dead character if this mix lands. What's it gonna be? Reflect twice in a row. Puff Cakes has successfully held on against the Android 18 mixes. Very good defense. Constructed uniquely this defensive puff case. It is insane to see because of that, it enables them to get the hit. And now, just like that, puff cake's in a great situation to close this out. However, remember game one, sir. Remember how close Casca was to making the comeback. However, saying that, puff cakes should be able to close this out. Yeah, the level one. Shouting out loud, get off of my arena. I built this for a reason as the cells want to finish it off. A two-game lead for Puff Cakes here in this set, and it is looking like we have a war on our hands because Kasuga, as we have said, is in fine, fine form right now. So what a statement is this from Puff Cakes to be going quite convincingly into the lead so far. Playing very smart as well that's the great thing about it right he's waiting on the defensive assist to kind of be popped from casca's side and then starting to really put the work in let's see if puffcakes can continue extend this lead even more casca will it down great tech on the dr but try to challenge on the barrier try to maybe sneak a little button in just before I get that in time, but a red drop from Kasuga allows Puff Cakes out of that situation and finds the hit with the Cell B. Hold on a minute. The momentum from the start suddenly shifts to Puff Cakes' side. Yep, and two bars already built. Just gonna have a ride it out for now, but a Kasuga special, the command dash into the barrier, trying to psych you out and make you press when you know you can't because he has that assist. A very simple kill here. Dragon Rush is gonna keep a meter the thanks to the special Z change here. Nice optimization from Kasuga. And whilst Puff Cakes had a slight grasp of the momentum, it goes right back away from him. The jump over into the EX legs, into the happy birthday. Jonesy, no way. Oh my god. And just like that, Kefla's out of it. Oh, and he gets the tag with the key blast. Oh my. Okay, Puff. Oh, he just went for the meat and it worked. Didn't believe in the hit though. Oh, the clash oh, cell is out of there, even if he flashed. That is crazy. And once again, runs it back once more with the PA. Oh, speaking loud and clear and 2H nicely. Time for Puff Cakes are just like that now. And 2v1 situation just has to wait out a little bit of the spark. Patience is all that's required, but pulls the trigger too early on that reflect. And Kasuga baiting that one does get the hit. Seven bars already built. Android 17 in the corner as well. Puff Cakes escapes. Ooh, then gets hit by the 2H. Really good reactions from Kasuga, who brings it to a 1v1 here. And pretty much full life on both sides. It's going to be one of the most ridiculous utility characters in the game versus EX Perfect Attack, the character. You're not wrong. I like it. Bro. Hey. Bro. Oh <laughs> Run up, Dragon Rush. If that's I not a statement, I don't know what is, Jonesy. Honestly, I'm just aware for right now. That is crazy. Puffix is living in his head rent free. His shoes are off. He is spread on that. He is lying on Kasuga's couch in his head right now. That is crazy. Holy crush, but it still sells turn. Blocking. He is blocking that level three. He calls it out. Kasuga is. What does he do? What do you do when Puff Cakes is making reads like that, sir? I... What do you do, man? I mean. I actually can't really find any faults in Puffcakes' gameplay right now, except for a couple of drops, as we discussed. The perfect attack ones, for example. Other than that, as you said, his use of the defensive assists, calling them out, and otherwise reading Casca like a book, it's been a very good set for him so far. Casca doing very well, as of course, with the um, barrier assists, but that's not going to mean anything when Puffcakes just isn't biting the base. Has to get down but not out back against the wall. Could be the moment for him to wake up. As Puff Cakes awake at the beast. No, never mind. Reflect tag. Finds his mark. 
Sasuke commit to the Key Blast, gets punished for it. And out to the corner we go. Puff Cakes are not dropping the Bombos this time. TMDR is the crazy extender. I love to see it every time. Walker blocks. Oh my god, bro. Puff Cakes is making every single read perfectly. Yep, then gets the five point attack extender, then brings the cell out to keep the combo as optimal as possible. We'll only need one bot to get the kill here, and Puff Cakes eliminates yet another character in his quest to 5 1 Kasuga right now. It's like the pseudo Brazil against the Brazilian. What on earth was that to it? What was that confirm? Alright, nah. Puff Cakes has done his homework on Kasuga. He knew the moment he signed up to that lad, he's like, I am winning it and I am facing Kasuga today. There is no other answer. Oh my god, and just like that, it's down to Kasuga's 18. No Spark, pretty much a full health team. With Spark to deal with first. Recovers the landing. No level 3 this time. Nothing is working out for Kasuga. It is all pocket, it's all Dutch right now. A man dash into the assist. Nice reaction from Kasuga there to jump over that and evade the pressure. Now he has to go full screen. Barrier does absorb the DP assist right there. Look at him constantly jumping in the corner, fishing for those buttons to JH and punish. Whistling the life boss slowly but surely away. Kasuga evades. He sparks it out trying to get the confirm. It's absolute chaos right now, but this could be it. He does get the full confirm. The meter penalty should evade by the time we finish his combo off. And Puff Cakes, in a sensational upset, is going to spend the ball here and finish it off 5-1 against Kasuga. What an upset, but what a ridiculous performance from the Dutch player right there. Wow.